In the hazy glow of nostalgia, do you remember that moment? The flicker of excitement as the screen came to life. The anticipation that gripped your heart as a new world unfurled before your eyes. Ah, uh, yes, it was your first encounter with the iconic 1976 TV series, The Bionic Woman. Time seemed to hang suspended as you met James Somers, a woman who transcended mere humanity with her bionic abilities. A character that sparked inspiration and wonder, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television. Perhaps you recall that exhilarating moment when James' bionic limbs first flexed their incredible power, a fusion of technology and human spirit that took your breath away. Or maybe it was the suspense that wound its way into your soul when she faced seemingly insurmountable challenges, battling against all odds to protect those she held dear. These memories are like fragments of stardust, forever etched in your consciousness. But now, let's journey deeper into the realm of the bionic woman. Beyond the realm of memories lies a treasure trove of intriguing tidbits that might have eluded even the most devoted fans. From the behind-the-scenes stories that shaped the show's creation to the unexpected cultural impact it had on society, these random facts unveil a tapestry woven with creativity and innovation. So, as we set the stage for this enthralling voyage into the unknown realms of knowledge, let's unravel the veil that shrouds these hidden facets of the bionic woman. Each fact is a gem waiting to be discovered, a puzzle piece that completes the grand picture of this beloved series. And now, without further ado, let us dive into the vortex of these captivating revelations, where history meets entertainment, and the ordinary becomes extraordinary. For who could have known that a TV show from the past could continue to captivate our imagination and fuel our curiosity in the present? The Bionic Woman, a 1976 TV series, made waves as the second network primetime production centered on a female superhero. A remarkable feat in its own right, it carved a unique path by ascending to an impressive five spot in the Nielsen ratings, a triumph unparalleled by any other show of its kind. While the show aimed to captivate families, it inadvertently triggered an unexpected response from concerned parents. The faceless female robots, known as fembots, regularly infiltrated secure facilities, evoking a mix of fascination and terror among young viewers. The climactic battles, slowed down for dramatic effect, invariably led to the revealing of the fembots' true visigate while unblinking robot eyes and computer circuits in lieu of a mouth and nose. Even some adults confessed that the eerie facelessness occasionally sent shivers down their spines. However, perhaps the most intriguing tidbit lies in the canine realm. Meet Max, the bionic dog, who played a pivotal role in the series. Notably, in Season 3, Episodes 1 and 2 titled The Bionic Dog, Parts 1 and 2, Max's character demanded unique qualities. The German shepherds who portrayed Max needed to exhibit a calm demeanor around fire, resist temptations from food, and even demonstrate the unlikely skill of using a treadmill. In this classic TV series, the convergence of high-tech heroics, robotic enigma, and even the unexpected inclusion of a bionic dog contributed to its enduring allure. A true testament to its impact is the show's prominent spot in the Nielsen ratings, defying norms and making a lasting mark on television history. Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of James Somers in the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman broke new ground, and her achievement was sealed with an Emmy win. Wagner's Emmy victory marked the first time a woman had secured the prestigious acting award for a science fiction series, further solidifying her impact on the genre. Her compelling performance as a woman with bionic enhancements captivated audiences and shattered stereotypes, proving that science fiction could be a platform for nuanced and empowering character portrayals. The series not only pushed the boundaries in terms of gender representation, but also showcased technological innovation within its fictional world. A humorous nod to its companion series, The Six Million Dollar Man, surfaced in James' storyline. After a near-fatal skydiving accident, James' body was rebuilt with components reminiscent of Steve Austin's biotic parts, albeit on a smaller scale. Remarkably, the cost of James' reconstruction was playfully mentioned to be less than the infamous $6 million that it took to rebuild Austin, given the smaller size of her components. This playful reference added a layer of interconnectedness between the two series, while highlighting the show's witty narrative approach. Interestingly, James Somers had a penchant for using code names from the classic fairy tale Snow White 
and the Seven Dwarfs, often employing Dopey as her chosen alias. This creative quirk added a touch of whimsy to her covert operations, contrasting with her formidable bionic capabilities. This unique choice of code names became one of the distinctive elements that contributed to the show's enduring charm. As we reflect on Lindsay Wagner's groundbreaking Emmy win and the captivating narrative choices of the bionic woman, it's evident that the series left an indelible mark on television history. With its blend of science fiction, empowerment, and clever storytelling, the show continues to inspire and resonate with audiences, cementing its place as a cult classic in the pantheon of television excellence. Jame and Steve's High School Sweetheart Illusion, unveiling the age disparity in the realm of television magic. The 1976 series The Bionic Woman spun a narrative web of high-tech wonder and human emotion. Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of Jane Somers, a woman rebuilt with bionic abilities after a near-fatal accident, captured the hearts of many. The romantic subplot between Jane and Steve Austin, portrayed by Lee Majors, seemed like the perfect high school sweetheart story. However, the illusion of their age-matched love concealed an interesting truth. Lee Majors was a decade older than his on-screen counterpart, Lindsay Wagner. The charm of their on-screen chemistry overshadowed the age disparity between the two actors. While Jame and Steve's romance blossomed in the fictional world, reality held a different chronology. Majors, born in 1939, was indeed 10 years senior to Wagner, born in 1949. This divergence in age showcases the power of television to weave stories that resonate beyond the screen, crafting narratives that capture the imagination while concealing real-life intricacies. While the age difference was undoubtedly masked by the show's creative storytelling, it's a testament to the actor's skill that their performances allowed viewers to suspend disbelief. The bionic woman continues to hold a special place in the annals of television history, reminding us that sometimes, the magic of storytelling can transcend the limitations of reality. And so, the love story of Jame and Steve, seemingly sprung from the innocence of high school days, remains a poignant chapter in the television landscape a testament to the actor's craft, and the power of narrative to forge connections across ages. In France, the show is called Super Jamie, with two is. This tweak in spelling is essential due to the linguistic nuances of the French language. The name Jamie, if spelled as such, would inadvertently conjure thoughts of pajamas. Conversely, the alternate spelling Jame would inadvertently translate to I love in French. Thus, Super Jamie strikes a balance that preserves the character's identity without causing linguistic dissonance. Jane Somers, portrayed by Lindsay Wagner, held the vocation of a schoolteacher, embodying a relatable and admirable profession for many viewers. Her portrayal as a bionic-powered educator added a layer of authenticity to her character's daily life, despite her extraordinary capabilities. The iconic opening theme music that is now inseparable from the bionic woman was unveiled in the third episode of season one. This memorable auditory introduction not only set the tone for the series, but also became a hallmark of the show's identity. Its resonance endures as a reminder of the show's impact on television history. Imbued with linguistic finesse and grounded in a relatable profession, the bionic woman captivated audiences across the globe. Its unforgettable theme music, echoing from its third episode onward, cemented its place in the pantheon of classic TV shows. Lindsay Wagner's unforeseen setback the bionic woman's resilience amidst adversity in the annals of television history. 1,976 seconds the bionic woman stands as an iconic series that captured hearts and minds with its futuristic intrigue. Among its defining features is the titular character's transformation. James Somers, portrayed by Lindsay Wagner, finds herself reconstructed with cybernetic enhancements after a fateful accident. Interestingly, a parallel can be drawn to the realm of comics, specifically the X-Men universe. Cyclops and Jean Grey, renowned characters in X-Men lore, have a son named Nathan Summers. His journey shares a peculiar resonance with James. Nathan's dire illness compelled his parents to dispatch him through time, where his organic components yielded to a cybernetic evolution, birthing the enigmatic Cable. Much like Cable, James Summers becomes a fusion of human and machine after her life-altering accident. Transitioning networks, the bionic woman entered its final season on NBC, making history through its cast continuity. 
Richard Anderson and Martin E. Brooks, embodying characters Oscar Goldman and Dr. Rudy Wells respectively, seamlessly transitioned from ABC's The Six Million Dollar Man to its sibling show. This unprecedented feat underscored their exceptional talent and dedication. Notably, Lindsay Wagner's real-life collision with adversity mirrored her character's resilience on screen. A car accident involving Wagner and her then-boyfriend, actor Michael Brandon, disrupted production during the show's inaugural year. The mishap resulted in injuries, with Wagner sustaining a visible scar on her upper lip. Production paused, granting her the essential respite for recuperation. The bionic woman exudes a timelessness not only through its technological themes, but also through the perseverance etched into its narrative and cast. Lindsay Wagner's journey as James Somers, both within the show's universe and her own life, paints a portrait of strength amidst challenges unforeseen. In a convergence of fiction and reality, the show's legacy endures as a testament to the unyielding spirit of adaptation and triumph. As we bid adieu to the world of bionics and espionage, let us not forget the mesmerizing journey that was the bionic woman. Like a hidden gem in the treasure trove of television history, this 1976 series awakened our imaginations and propelled us into a realm where the extraordinary became a riveting reality. As we contemplate the evolution of technology and the resonance of human-machine synergy, take a moment to ponder your own connection to James Sommer's adventures. Did her courage and determination strike a chord within you, urging you to embrace your own potential? Perhaps the futuristic concepts ignited a spark of curiosity, inspiring you to explore the wonders of science and innovation. The bionic woman wasn't just a show, it was a conduit for dreams and aspirations. It was a tapestry that intertwined the ordinary and the extraordinary, weaving a narrative of strength, vulnerability, and the undeniable power of the human spirit. Each episode etched memories that have stood the test of time, shaping our perceptions and kindling our fascination. Now, as the screen fades to black on this chapter, I invite you to share your personal connection with the bionic woman. What moments made your heart race? Which characters resonated with you on a profound level? Let's celebrate this timeless series by intertwining our stories, a symphony of thoughts that echo through the years. Thank you for joining me in this reflection, for delving into the realm of bionics and reliving the magic that graced our screens. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated as they breathe life into these words. Until we embark on our next journey through the tapestry of nostalgia, remember that the spirit of the bionic woman lives on in us, connecting us through time and space. Fondly reminiscing.